Hello designer friends, if you remember a couple of months ago, I've released a video on 10 amazing Figma tips that can help you speed up your workflow. And a lot of you guys have loved it. And in the comments, a lot of you guys have asked me for a part two. So here I'm back again with 10 more amazing tips that can help you speed up your Figma workflow. So without any further ado, let's jump straight onto my screen and get started. So before getting started with the tips, here is some general information that you need to note about this video. So in this video, I'll be showing you shortcuts related to Mac. So what you see here is a command on a Mac and this is option on a Mac. Alternate for this on a windows is a control and an alt so if you're using a windows device just note this so that being said let's jump straight onto the first step right here so the first step is to ignore constraints while resizing so there'll be different scenarios where you want to resize a particular frame but there are different elements inside it which have constraints and in that case uh, you know those break so to give you an example here i have a frame i just want this space here to be equal to this space here so for that reason what i'll do is i'll click the frame and i'll start resizing it and as you can see things break inside right so for that reason just hold command on a Mac or control on a Windows and then start resizing the frame. This way it will ignore all the constraints that are inside it and you can easily resize it. And that way, as you can see, I have the gap between these two equal and none of the things inside have been broken. Now moving on to tip number two, this is to set thumbnails for your files. So this really helps you, you know, organize things on your dashboard. So for example, if I go to my dashboard here, as you can see, uh, there are different files which just show the frames, right? The quick, uh, the full overview of the file as a preview here. And this is not helpful, you know, to quickly navigate to different files. And if you see here, I have set the first image as the thumbnail here. And that way I can, you know, quickly understand that this is the 10 tips file that I've created and I can jump onto this. All you have to do is just uh, select the frame that you want to make as a thumbnail just right click on it and you have an option to set as a thumbnail just click on it and that way this particular image gets set as a thumbnail on your dashboard now let's look at tip number three so tip number three is copy as a png so this is really helpful and comes handy when you want to quickly you know copy a particular frame or a screen and send it to someone on slack microsoft teams or even whatsapp right so all you have to do is select a particular frame so let's take the example of this particular frame here all you have to do is use the shortcut shift command c and it gets copy to your clipboard or you can right click on the frame and say copy as PNG. So this is also an option, but uh, I would definitely recommend you to learn this option of the shortcut comes really handy, right? So I just select the frame, use the shortcut shift command C. As you can see, it is copied as a PNG. Now I can send it on Slack, Microsoft Teams or wherever I want, right? Send it on an email as well. So because it's in your clipboard, you can paste it anywhere on your system. So let's say I want to paste it on these frames here. I can just select these and, you know, paste it inside it. And that way you can paste it anywhere easily on different Figma files as well. Moving on to tip number four, this is to paste image onto any vector shape. So right now I already have an image in my clipboard. If you remember, we just copied it as a PNG. Now I can simply select these different shapes here and just do a command V and it'll get pasted onto these shapes, right? So as you can see, it is basically getting masked inside this particular shape. And that's a really good way to, you know, paste image onto any particular shape that you want without using the mask option or drawing a mask around it. So this works on any vector shape. So just select a vector shape and just just paste an image onto it. Moving on to tip number five, this is to change the text resizing. So let's say I want to resize this particular text uh, to the complete width or the complete length of this text. So manually, if I do this, I have to, you know, manually check till where this is reaching or the other way to do is, you know, go to more options here and choose auto width. So this is another way to do it. But the most easiest way or the quickest way to do it is, you know, just select the text and go to the extreme right. And on this edge, just do a double click and that's it. It gets set to auto width. So this is the fastest way to, you know, change the the text resizing to auto width. Moving on to the next one, this is, you know, to hide controls. And this comes handy when you're trying to present something screen sharing with, you know, with your colleagues or you with your clients. So all you have to do is just use the shortcut, which is command dot. And as soon as I do that, this changes to a full view and I can share this, do a presentation. It comes really handy in that case. So to bring it back again, use the same shortcut command dot and your controls are back again. Moving on to the next tip, tip number seven. And this is, you know, to collapse the layers. So as you can see, on the right, everything is opened up and it's really difficult to search for a particular frame right here. So all you can do is use the shortcut, which is option or alt L and that's it. Everything gets collapsed. And now we can simply search through which frame that you're looking for. And it's pretty easy, right? So that is a shortcut to quickly collapse everything. And moving on to tip number eight. So tip number eight is to add links to your text on your file. So this can come in handy when you want to jump to a particular resource uh, externally. So if you have some Miro link or if you have a FigJam link that you want to link to, or a 
different website that you want to link to you can do that or you can also uh, link it to internal pages inside figma itself or a different figma file all you have to do is you know just go to let's say i have a page to here and let's say i want to link it to this particular frame right here all i have to do is right click on this copy as link so just copy this link right here come back to page number one select this particular text and on the top you have this option to add a link or you can also use the shortcut which is command k so i'll just click on this it will give you a small input field just paste the link that you just copied and that's it now we have added a link to this so as soon as i click on this it will automatically jump to page two as you can see and now i can click here and jump back to page one so that's how we can add links internally and externally so let's move on to the tip number nine so here we have tip number nine and this is multi paste to replace so let's say i have a couple of images or different layers inside it so if i want to replace it with a different element so let's say this particular element here i'll just copy it or cut it from here so i'll just copy it from here and in this one i'll select all these different layers and all i have to do is you know use a shortcut shift command r to replace it or even i can use a right click and say paste to replace so either of the things and that's it this new element will replace all the objects that you just saw here and that being said let's move on to the last step for this video and that is multi paste so this comes handy when you want to paste a particular element onto multiple frames at once so for example let me just copy this new text from here and let's say i want to paste it on all these frames that i have here at a single click or a single shortcut so what i'll do is i'll select all the frames here and just you know use the normal shortcut of pasting that is command v and that's it it gets pasted on all the frames and even i can move it to a different location with the selection in place and that's how i can move it to different places or by default it just gets pasted onto the center of a particular frame so there you go guys those are 10 amazing tips that you can use on your figma day-to-day -day work and it'll definitely help you speed up your workflow at least a tiny bit and as you keep learning these shortcuts and improving on this it'll really help you speed up your ui design work and if you like these tips i would recommend you to watch part one so on the card somewhere here so definitely watch it and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one